Wales is a world leader when it comes to dark skies. Almost a third of Wales is protected against light pollution. So we have the Brecon Beacons Dark Sky Reserve in the south. In mid Wales, we have the Elland Valley Dark Sky Park and the Cambrian Mountain Dark Sky Site. And then in North Wales, we have the Snowdonia Dark Sky Reserve. And that's not to mention the areas of natural beauty that also have dark skies in Wales, like the Gower Coast, Pembrokeshire, and Anglesey, to name just a few. But in other words, when you're in Wales, you're never too far away from skies dark enough to see the Milky Way. And that's something I certainly don't take for granted. My name is Alan Wallace, and I am an award-winning full-time landscape astrophotographer from Pontypridd in South Wales. For me, it was in the Brecon Beacons where I really fell in love with the stars. Just being out under the night sky is such a therapeutic way to spend your time. It completely de-stresses you and just makes you feel so grateful to be alive and to enjoy this world that we live in. So at every given opportunity, I would be out with my camera, capturing images of the stars, the planets, the moon rising above the clouds, and of course, the Milky Way. And would you believe it, I've even been lucky enough to see the northern lights from as far south as the Brecon Beacons on more than one occasion. I then began exploring further afield to see if I could find darker skies and even more beautiful landscapes. And one of my favorite places to shoot is the Ellen Valley Dark Sky Park, especially when the Victorian dams are overflowing and the sound of gushing water just fills an otherwise silent landscape. And the surrounding Cambria Mountains provide some of the most remote areas of Wales, providing an unparalleled sense of solitude and peace. But for the most epic shots, you cannot beat the Snowdonia Dark Sky Reserve. There's nothing better than the sight of those jagged peaks under the stars and the light of the stars reflecting in the glacial lakes. I take my photographs with a consumer grade camera, a wide angle lens and a tripod. And that's basically all you need. Just don't forget to have a head torch so you can see where you're going and what you're doing. But I take long exposures. So each photograph takes about 20 to 30 seconds. So the camera can see a little bit more than you can see with the naked eye. But no matter how beautiful the photographs are, you just cannot beat the sight of the Milky Way to the naked eye. And thanks to the power of the internet, I can now share my images with my followers all around the world. And the more people I inspire to fall in love with the night sky, the more we can tackle the issue that is light pollution. Because in the 50 years since humans landed on the moon, the human population has more than doubled from 3 billion to now nearly 7 billion people, which means there are bigger towns and bigger cities and more lights, and we are losing the night sky at an alarming rate. And if you've never spent a night under the stars, I highly recommend you come to Wales and try it, weather permitting, of course, but you will leave with a greater sense of being a more altruistic approach to life. And it just makes you feel so good and stress-free. And it's this window to the universe, this sight of the stars and the Milky Way and the protection of the night sky that we have here in Wales that makes me so lucky and so proud to be Welsh.